Wiley, we know you teach at UNC Asheville. And I have to say that the beginning of this book is so masterful. I mean, we've been talking about it, but we meet and know exactly who we need to meet and know. And yet you never tell us anything. It's just the way you unroll it showing us is just mm -hmm. so well done. So we all know you're a great writer. And of course, every week on our show, we ask our guests for a writing tip. Would you be so kind as to give us one tonight? Sure. Yeah. You know, the opening scene, I'm trying to set the expectations, the reader's expectations as soon as I can. And I argue that we enter a piece of fiction the same way we enter a dream. Mm -hmm. We say, oh, where am goodness. I? Who are these people? What are the rules of time? What are the what are the rules of the unities in the stream or this book? Yeah. So I'm trying to nail all those things down as soon as possible. So you know immediately that this is a married couple. You know immediately that one of them is sick. You know that they are middle aged because they're freaking and stretching and all this stuff. You know what time it is. There's an alarm clock right there they remark on. You know he's a sheriff immediately. He gets in the car and he turns on the radio and they're talking about the election uh, when Mondale is challenging Reagan. So you know it's 1984. And I'm not telling you uh, a middle-aged man and woman are married on Oak Island in this 1984 in the middle of the night. I'm just kind of walking you through this scene, giving you information so that when you're entering the dream that I'm trying to create for you and keep you inside of, because I never want you to consciously ask those questions. I'm trying mm -hmm. to give you all that information before you ask for it. 